the best shoes to avoid are flip-flops that have no support whatsoever. Um, it, you know, flip-flops are not bad, but they're, in today's market, there are a lot of flip-flops that come in with, uh, come built in with art sports. So, um, you know, flip-flops in general can be bad for your, your uh, foot if it's a flip-flop that's just a, a, basically just a piece of leather and, and, you know, some material, but no support whatsoever. If it has a good support in it, then flip-flops are, are a very good shoe to wear in the summer. Athletic shoes as well. They're the, the the way that athletic shoes have evolved is they're no longer. There are still athletic shoes that are leather based, where the tops are leather. But now more of your athletic shoes are um, a meshy type material, so they breathe. They're lightweight, and they're excellent for you know this type of weather uh, that we experience here in St. Louis. Uh, it, it that varies um, in. You know, and some, it really varies per the individual. Now, um, you know, anything I think that's one or two inches is adequate. I think if you start getting higher than that, you could start to develop some other type of foot problems. Um, but really, that's per patient comfort. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend anything over three inches, but uh, certainly one to two is fine. Well. Proper nail care is important in, in prevention of ingrown toenails. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people think that they need to round their toenails, and, and many times when women go to, to uh, get pedicures, that's exactly what the pedicures will do. And in actuality, what you should do is you should actually cut your nails straight across. Um, the other thing is that you shouldn't really try to remove any kind of debris, dead skin, or anything like that that's underneath the nail. If, there, if you have a fungus problem and you do that, you actually can push that fungus deeper into the nail and actually infect more of the nail. As far as heel care, you know, the biggest thing with heel care is dry skin. Uh, and so it's not unusual for, for women to experience, and men, to experience um, some cracking of the heel. And sometimes those cracks can get pretty deep, they can bleed, and they can become painful. So really just moisturize the, the, the heel area you know, daily, predominantly at night, so that when you're in bed, that it can really uh, take effect and, and really moisturize the skin well. Barefoot is bad outside. I mean, uh, there are a lot of funguses and viruses and things like that that are in grass and around pool sites. Those those uh, areas, the, the the pool surfaces tend to be very rough and abrasive. Um, you know, people are barefooted there that probably have some athlete's foot issues, have some ward issues, and um, you can, you know, it's a very common site to pick up uh, viruses like that will cause plantar warts and to pick up athlete's foot issues around the pool. So, aqua socks, uh, again, uh, a, a, an arch supported type of flip flop would be great to, to, have to wear around a pool and then outside as well. You know, just keep it covered. Dr. Lombardo, and I'm with Ankle and Foot Specialists of St. Louis.